my goals and my plans. High fives. I made a video in January about the measurable goals that I wanted to achieve this year. And I thought that I would do an honest recap of how January went. Stick around to see if I bombed or succeeded. Da -da -da. I started scripting this video on February 1. It is now February 9. And in that time, I've had a little bit of a silent roller coaster. See, back on February 1, before I wrote it down and I kind of analyzed how I'd been tracking, I didn't think I was doing very well. But then, then I decided to write it down. And I made two columns, a not done or not doing column, a doing or done column. And it turns out that I had been doing better than I thought. I'm not ready for bragging stations by any means, but it was nice to see it written down. Out of my nine goals, I'd actively been doing or attempting six of them, which is pretty good, like number wise. The only thing is the three that I hadn't been doing or done, two of them are pretty big ticket items. And the third one, I'm not too stressed about just yet because it's upgrading my license to drive a truck and I can do that at any point and I'm on track and it's fine. I don't have to do it all at once. Okay, so essentially I've got the not column and the doing column. I haven't had any coke in 2020. I have been uploading my photos to 365. I have been knitting. I have been reading. I have been posting to YouTube regularly and I have been posting fortnightly blogs as well. I haven't lost any kilos, I haven't done any Japanese study, and I haven't upgraded my license yet, but that's okay, plenty of time for that. So back on February 1, I was tracking pretty well with my six, and I recognized that I had been able to incorporate them into everyday life, but now I needed to figure out a way how to incorporate the other two big major ones, because studying Japanese and losing eight kilos ain't just gonna happen by itself. It's February 9 and as of yesterday I haven't done any reading this week or any knitting or planned my blog or uh, uploaded to my 365 in about five days. I have the photos there, 365 project, I'll link it below. I haven't studied and I haven't done what I'd call deliberate exercise. I've taken the dog for a few small walks but nothing kind of like earth shattering. And I've actually put a kilo on. So that's like negative goal achieving. <laughs> and I'm not fat shaming myself. Like I'm just saying I recognize that my focus on my goals kind of died in the ass. And okay, maybe died in the ass is a little strong, but blurred. On the upside, I have been filming a few Try It Tuesdays as part of my uploading 24 videos to YouTube this year, minimum. I spent some time editing some family videos from June last year, which felt really good. And I haven't had a Coke all year so far, February 9. And by default, I haven't had a, like a fizzy drink since probably about January 8th. So I kind of, I think there's a part of me that does miss them, but there's a part of me that just doesn't now. I don't know, it's good, it's good. It wasn't one of my goals, but I wanted to use Trello as an organizational tool. I have been using it to organize my thoughts and, and ideas and the likes, but I wanted to use it as a daily thing, a routine, and I haven't been so, I've kind of been using it, but not the way that I intended. So still working on that one. Speaking of routine, I think that's my problem. I don't have one. <laughs> I think I need to make a morning slash daily slash weekly kind of routine, like as a base to use. So I listen to a podcast and a YouTube channel from Amy Landino, and it's all about her helping you go after the life you want. I'll put a card up and link below. Her recent podcast was literally what I didn't know I needed to hear right now, right now. Broken 2020 resolutions and five tips on how to get back on track. Jokes aside, she speaks about February being the month that a lot of people tend to give up on those resolutions and changes that they wanted to make. Now, I wouldn't say I'd given up, but I'd definitely say I need to refocus. I needed that reminder. I needed that kick in the pants to stop 
reevaluate and make a plan. I can't and won't finish all nine goals in one go. It's just, it's not going to happen. It doesn't work like that. I've got now 11, 11, 10 and a half months to work on those. But I have the goal and I need to like, you know, work backwards and make a plan on how I'm going to get there. Oh, did you see that? I high fived. My goals, my plans, high fived. That was super corny, but it's true. I feel like I had these goals, but in January it was a pretty crazy month and I didn't actually stop to think of how I was going to achieve it. I just knew I wanted to do it. So I kind of bumbled through January. I managed to tick some boxes, which was great because I didn't plan it. I just kind of did it. But then now I've figured out that I do need to make that plan. So I sat with my whiteboard yesterday to start trying to make that plan. One, I'm not a morning person. So yesterday I sat down with my whiteboard to make that plan. And here's a picture. It probably won't mean much to you. I've kind of got a few things going on. I've got like the start of my morning and then what I'm going to do the morning of work and what I'm going to do in the lunch times at work and the things I plan to do when my husband is on night shift. I tried not to overload myself. I, I hope I haven't. Uh, I mean, I won't achieve anything if I, if I don't use the time I have to do those things. So I'll have to reevaluate it. I'll have to see how it goes and reevaluate it. And if something's not working or if I can find time in different spots. So I don't know, I'm, I'm not kind of so congested in the mornings or not so spread thin on an evening. I don't know. I'll have to see how I go, but I'm probably going to have that podcast on repeat at the start of every month. <laughs> Didn't script this bit, but here's the thing. It doesn't scare me. Like, don't get me wrong, like I had this week where I've just kind of looked back and gone, oh my God, you haven't done any of that this week. But I'm so much more aware of it. Like, um, you know, I might not have thought about it in a week or maybe I had and I was just too tired or actually I had a lot of headaches last week, like a lot. But anyway, but I'm, I'm here. I'm trying to show up for myself to make these changes. And if I keep thinking about it, well... I know you have to do more than thinking about it, but if you're just ignoring those thoughts and you're not going to do anything and I'm not ignoring them and I do have a whole year and I want to make these goals happen. So I plan to make a video like this once a month and I plan to make try it Tuesdays and have them upload once a month. And then if I kind of upload anything random in between, then bonus. I started writing about my week yesterday, just like literally in dot point form. And even if I wrote like, a, did like a three minute video about that, cause sometimes I sit there and go, you know, life can be pretty like quiet and boring and stuff. But some of the stuff that happened last week, it's just random. And it's just not stuff that would happen maybe if you were in suburbia, which I appreciate living in the bush. So anyway, you'd have to subscribe and like watch that video to see how random my week was. Check back in March for an update to see how I've tracked for February, even though one week of it's pretty much already gone. But uh, in the meantime, life is short. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Thanks for watching. An honest recap. <laughs> I look like I wanted to lie then. <laughs> Legit honest. Stick around to see if I succeeded. All bombed. Stop staring at the camera. Those once I've done, I've done it. Duns, I've done it. Dunned, dunned it. I dunned it. And I recognized that I was. <laughs> my focus on my girl, girls, goes. That makes me think of Goza. That makes me hungry. Stop. <laughs> this is part of my uploading 24 videos to YouTube. YouTube. Oh God, honestly. <laughs> I spent some time last years Leo. talk about all the plug to my not followers look down I can't and I won't finish all nine goes all nine goes <laughs> I'm not even moving around I can't and I won't finish all nine goes oh god that's twice <laughs> I guess you don't have to be that's what Annie Landino says. And then the things I'm going to plan to do when my husband, husband, no, you're just waffling, waffling. I need to put it down on 
paper and life short don't forget to be who you are don't be afraid don't forget to be <laughs> Don't forget, life is short, don't forget. <laughs>